something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Yes, there's something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. There is something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. The word on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. The word on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Come on, put your hands together. on the inside, working on the outside, oh what a change in my life. Joining us this morning, whether it be by Facebook or YouTube, we thank God for you joining us this morning for service. Certainly we do honor the spirit of Christ that works in us, and I pray in you we give God praise for our pastor, Elder Davis, and Lady Davis, all those that are in the ministry. Uh, we're going to start a little different. We're going to go to the Word of God. Uh, scripture, we're coming from Romans chapter 8. And verse 11, it says, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Jesus from the dead shall quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwelleth in you. As long as you got something on the inside, it'll work on the outside and it'll be a change in your life. How about that? Again, we thank God for you being here. We'll go to the, to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for another day that you have given us. We thank you for how you continue to keep us and to bless us. Oh God, we ask now that you come in and dwell with us. Come in that household, come in that living room, come in that bedroom while we worship, oh God, and throw your weight around. Oh God, fill it with your glory. Let your spirit be felt all over this place. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Oh, God, you know the petitions of your people. And now, God, we ask that you meet the needs of your people. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, mend up broken hearts, oh, God. Regulate minds, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, put a shield of protection around us. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, even keep us from ourselves, oh, God. Oh, God, help us to walk in your will and to your way. Give us great decision making oh God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh God be with us oh God not only today but the days ahead oh God oh God give us clarity oh God show us your will show us your way in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let us walk worthy of the call that you have given us in the name of Jesus we'll forever give your name praise honor and glory it is in Jesus name that we pray and all God's people said amen. And they clapped their hands and gave God glory. Come on, I know you're in your home, but you can clap your hands and give God glory. He's deserving of the glory. He's deserving of the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, invite him in, invite him in. Say. 
Saturate your home with his glory. Saturate your home with his name. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel your presence. I feel your presence. I feel your presence. I feel your glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We got a little time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, call on him for a little while. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. You're welcome in our homes. You're welcome in our bedrooms. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 other Sunday I said the other Sunday if you're practicing this at home when we come together it'll be normal so it'll be normal so let's practice this a while at home let's give a praise a while at home get your children together get your spouse together and clap those hands give God praise in your home that I bless the Lord at all times and his praise is those hands. Just because you're constrained to your home, that doesn't mean it. You should be more relaxed. You should be more free to give God praise right there where you stay at. And it does something for your children to see you give God praise. It does something for your spouse to see God, see you give God glory. If you can't praise them in your home, you can't praise them here. There'll be a strain on you. When we all get together and we've been practicing at home, we've been, we've, been work, we've been praising at home, we've been praying at home, we've been fasting at home, when we all get together, oh, what a time it will be. Again, we thank God for you. Thank God for joining us this morning with great expectations, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I expect that when you watch this, that when you see this, that God's going to move in your home. Hallelujah. God's going to move on your behalf. He's going to change some things around for you. I just expect that for you. And the Bible says anything that we, when we agree as touching, anything that we ask, he'll do. And I'm asking that God does whatever he needs to do for you. If it's healing that you need, I'm asking God to heal you. If it's deliverance that you need, I'm asking God to deliver you. If it's, if it's uh, uh, comforting that you need, I'm asking God to comfort you. He's all that and more. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God again. At this time, we're going to hear a word from our pastor. God bless you. It's done. Come on, let's give God some glory. Give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, we honor you. God, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Don't just do it because I asked you to do it, because you, you owe God. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all the praise. Help me sing this little song of praise right wherever you are. Song says, Oh, I feel like giving God the glory. God the glory. God the glory. Yes, I feel like giving God the glory. He has been so good to me. Oh, yes, I feel like giving God the glory. God the glory. God the glory. Oh, yes, I feel like giving God the glory. He has been so good to me. Oh, so good. So good. So good. He is good to me. So good. So good. He has been so good to me. Oh, I said I feel like giving God the glory. Hallelujah. God the glory. God the glory. Oh, yes, I feel like giving God the glory. He has been so good to me. Oh, so good. So good. So good. He has been so good. So good. So good. He has been so good to you. One more time. I said I feel like giving God the glory. Hallelujah. God the glory. God the glory. Oh, yes, I feel like giving God the glory. He's been, he has been so good to me. Oh, so good. So good. So good. He has been so good, so good, so good. He has been so good to me. Oh, so good, so good, so good. He has been so good, so good, so good. He has been so good. One more time, so good, so good. So good, hallelujah. So good, so good. He has been so good, so good, so good. He has been so good to me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You got to be able to say with assurance, God has been so good to me. We thank God for the song of praise tonight. And to everyone, expect your praise to our Lord and Savior. Amen. Tonight, this morning, praise the Lord. Amen. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God is so good. We thank God for him. And to Elder Harris, praise the Lord. And all the ministers of the gospel, to Whittington, and to, amen, Lady Davis, Lady Robin Davis, we thank God for everyone. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Even for the minstrels, the musicians, we thank God for them. Amen. As we try, amen, to share the word of the Lord with you today. All of you may be listening. It's another day that God has granted us, and we are extremely grateful for another day of life that God has given us. Amen and amen. So praise the Lord. We thank God for each and every one of you as usual. Amen. I just wanted to say a few words with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. As even we look at the situation of the world today, amen, people of God, I want you to uh, admonish you, I, I beseech you, I plead with you to be wise. Amen. Praise the Lord. We look in our area. Amen. And whether some believe it or not, those that are trying to doubt it, praise the Lord. Amen. COVID-19, the coronavirus is real. Amen. And we have to be wise and act accordingly. We don't operate in fear. Hear me good. We don't operate in fear, but God gives us wisdom and common sense. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we will use that wisdom and common sense in God's due time. Amen. You'll be free. Amen. To give him the glory and to do what you desire to do. But people of God and those of you that are not even in this, uh, the, in the, consider yourself someone of the faith. I admonish you. I plead with you. Amen. To exercise on the side of caution. Praise the Lord. Because we don't know. 
amen, there's not fulfillment of things to transport how to protect ourselves or how there is no cure, praise the Lord. I know people talking about a virus, I got to get this out of a vaccine and so forth, praise the Lord, but that's going to be quite some time before that's available general to the public. So I just wanted to warn you, praise the Lord, amen, to be wise and amen, as Elder was saying earlier tonight, amen, if you save at home, amen, you ought to be able to save whenever we get back here. And so your salvation should not be contingent totally on where, praise the Lord, you coming to a particular house of worship, you need to know God for yourself, even in that home, even in that vehicle, wherever you may be, amen, you need to know the Lord for yourself, amen, somebody ought to say amen to that, and so praise I just wanted to, amen, put in your spirit, amen, the seriousness of the issue, praise the Lord, do not take it for granted, and let me say this, praise the Lord, yes, it can happen to you, mm -hmm. I'm going to say it again, yes, it can happen to you. You're not Superman or Superwoman. You're not immune, but praise the Lord. If you, amen, put yourselves in situations, I don't want, praise the Lord, amen, I don't want you to be in that situation. Yes, we're going to, we were going to pray for you. We pray for your well-being at all times, but I want you to use some good judgment and some wisdom, and that what you're doing, praise the Lord, wherever you go, amen, and be wise that you can't control where everybody else goes. You can control where you go, amen, so be mindful of those that, Amen. Where you go, praise the Lord, and those where they've been, if they're going to be around you, amen, let us be prepared because we know the holiday season is here. Amen. Christmas time, we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and we desire as normal to come together in our usual fashions, but praise the Lord, amen. Be wise, be smart about what you need to do, amen. All that, if you desire to come together to take the necessary precautions and testing, whatever you have, and I felt the need to share that with you today because our country is at a great transition. Amen. A great transition is seemingly, amen, there are uh, 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 divisions and pulling of, of back and forth, back and forth, amen, but I want you to understand as people of God, amen, we're not ignorant, amen, as people of God, we, we conduct ourselves wisely, praise the Lord, and we acknowledge what is happening, amen, amen, please receive that, praise the Lord, the spirit in which it was given, and as always, we're grateful to share the word of the Lord with you, amen, if you would turn in your Bibles to Romans, hallelujah. Romans, praise the Lord, the eighth chapter. Amen. The great man of God, Paul. Amen. Romans, the eighth chapter. I'm going to read, begin reading, praise the Lord, at verse 24. And we're going to read down through verse 27. Amen. Romans 8, 24. And read through verse 27. And the reason this wise, for we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Where it is saying, we are saved by hope. But hope have hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not. Then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also help, helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Hallelujah. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. I want us to focus, praise the Lord. Amen. The verse 24 says, For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience Wait for it. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so the Bible is talking about what hope is. And praise the Lord, hope is an expectation or trusting and for something to have to go a certain way. Amen. And the first part of the, the 20th verse was saying that we are saved by hope. Amen. And it goes on to say, if you see it, well, that's not of hope. Praise the Lord. And I want to, amen, encourage you this, amen, this morning. Praise the Lord that, amen, the thing that you don't see, the thing that you don't understand, the Bible lets us know we can still have hope in Jesus. And so for as much as that we are saved 
by hope. Amen. Pray with me. Pray with me. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so we understand them. We extend. Amen. We talk about a lot of times the extension of hope and connection to faith. And the Bible saying that faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it's the evidence. It's the proof of things not seen. Amen. And so praise the Lord. I wanted to leave you with uh, just a thought. Amen. This morning for a few minutes. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. You don't have to see it. To believe it. I say it with me. You don't have to see it mm -hmm, to believe it. Now let me say that because we live in a time, I know you've heard many, many times, you got to see it to believe it. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that's the only way you identify that it is right. But the Bible is saying here, praise the Lord, hope that it's seen is not hope. So those things I do not do not see. Hallelujah. And I'm believing God to do it. And so it says that we are saved by hope. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you this morning, praise the Lord, the enemy wants you to wait in all ways. Hallelujah. Wait till you see things before you make a step. But the Bible letting us know if we believe God, hallelujah, if our faith is in God, we can yet walk in faith. We can yet step in faith. We can yet talk in faith and you don't i'm here to tell you you don't have to see it to believe it huh? stay with me hallelujah my bible i'm reminded of praise the lord in saint john hallelujah the fourth chapter uh, and the bible makes mention of a nobleman amen jesus was coming it was in the galilee and he had heard that jesus was going to be there but the bible said that he went there searching to try to make contact with jesus hallelujah and so jesus had been doing his healing and so amen the man that came and he began to tell him that my son hallelujah, the bible just called him a nobleman he said my son is sick unto death hallelujah and jesus said unto him well if you don't see it do you yet believe do you need to see it for you to believe hallelujah he said he jesus told him say go hallelujah thy son liveth hallelujah hear me good he had traveled to go where jesus was and then to inquire a help of jesus for the sickness of his child and when he got there jesus told him listen here man he said go go back where you come from your son liveth and he had already just told him that his son hallelujah was sick unto death but watch the word of god on the way back thank you jesus on the way back, uh, the, amen, those, those messengers that were with him, they met him on the way. Uh, and they said, hallelujah. He said, thy son liveth. Oh, God, he said, thy son liveth. He began to inquire, to well, when did this take place? And they began to tell him the hour for which it take, took place. And he reminded, he said, you know what? That was the very hour that I was with Jesus. That was the very hour that he spoke into me and said, go, thy son liveth. And I'm telling you this by the word of God. Don't let the devil fool you. You don't have to see it to believe it. If you believe God, God, I think it. If you believe God, if you have a mustard seed faith, if you believe God, you don't have to see it to believe it. But if you know who God is, I, I don't see a way. I believe God. I don't see the door. I believe God. I don't see the opening, but I believe God. So don't worry about what you see. Some of us, your eyes been deceiving you for a long time. What you looking at ain't what you think it is. So you don't have to see it to believe it. God, I think it. The Bible says, hallelujah, in First John, I believe the fourth chapter, he said, how is it? Huh? You said you hate, you love, you, you love God, and you, and you hadn't seen him, and you got your brother, you hate your brother, and you hadn't, and you seen him. There is no way that you can hate your brother who you've seen, honey, and love God who you've not seen. So what I'm telling you, your faith, your belief in God is not based on what I see. I know your bank account looks negative. I know, hallelujah, the light bill may be due, and you don't see a way. But let me tell you, some people of God, you don't have to see it huh, to believe it. But if you have the faith, the faith says, hallelujah, it's based on. Let me tell you, so let me tell you this. See, the reason why what makes it faith is because I don't see a way. You understand me? What makes it faith is because I don't see a way. And we have gotten so conditioned, hallelujah, that I can't make a step, hallelujah, until I see it. Well, thanks of God, if you're really going to be a child of God, if you're really going to be a son or daughter of the true and living king, there's going to come a time in your life, God, I thank you, but you're going to have to walk on. You got to make some steps. You got to do some actions based on you, who you know God is. It ain't based on what I see. It's not based on what I heard.
know, but it's based on who I know God is. And because I know that he is your true and living God, let me tell you, my brother, I don't have to see it. Hallelujah. To believe it. I don't have to see it. Let me tell you something. The master name of God, I've never seen him in person. I never seen him in the embodiment, in the embodiment of the flesh. But I feel him right now. I feel him right now. And I know that it's real. So can't nobody tell me that because I do see him that I can't believe in him. Let me tell you something. When you get the spirit of the living God living within you, hallelujah, and if it moves and it works in you, nobody can tell you no different. You can't tell me he's not a healer. You can't tell me he's not a way maker. You can't tell me he's not a deliverer. You can't tell me that he won't change your mind. Yeah, so, so praise the Lord. Let me tell you something. Amen. This, this walk of life. Amen. Salvation. At some point. Uh, yes, I am a believer. Oh God, I thank you. We give you scripture. We give you chapter and verse, amen, to let you understand that God's word is alive and it is well and it works. But there is going to come a time in your life that your connection to God going to be solely based on whether or not you believe he is God. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please him. Do you hear me good? So if you do not believe him about the thing that you cannot see, you cannot please him. God, I think it. So what that is saying is, in order for you to please him, hallelujah, that means you're going to have to take some steps. That means you're going to have to believe without seeing. That you're going to believe without the way it being made. If you're going to be a child of God, come on, shout glory. So, let me, make, let me make that clear. Let me make that clear again. I want you to hear me good. So the Bible says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And so we told you, hallelujah, amen. He said, faith, hope that is seen is not hope, amen. And so then you can see it, it's not hope. And so without faith, it's impossible to please God. And faith is the substance of things hoped for, hope for. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. In order for me to really connect with God the way I'm supposed to, hallelujah, that means the majority of it got to be based on, hallelujah, me not seeing it. You hear what I'm telling you? The fulfillment, I, tell, I say all the time, I want you to fulfill God's will for your life. In order for you to fulfill God's will for your life, it is going to require you to believe God for the things you do not see. Let me tell somebody one more time, you don't have to see it to believe it. So let me close with this. Hallelujah. Uh, there's always uh, a benefit. Uh, there is always uh, an extra additive in there that God will give you. So then, what I'm saying to you, hallelujah, if you will believe God, hallelujah, if you will act on faith, hallelujah, and begin to believe God and step out for those things you don't see, uh, God will, because you believe him, he will allow you to see some things that you didn't see before. So what I'm saying is this, when you get saved, hallelujah, God gives you a different outlook on the world that you live in. I see the same chair, I see the same clouds, but because I'm looking through God, God give me his eyes to see through, they mean more to me. So let me say this, praise the Lord, hallelujah, if you believe God for the things you don't see, God will begin to reveal some things unto you that you can make better steps for him. Now, hallelujah. Well, who will be the first, hallelujah, this morning? Who will be the first one to begin to make that step? Who will be the first one to begin to believe what you don't see? Who will be the first one to be say, I live, hallelujah, for God I live, and for God I die. Who will be the first one, hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, to give God all the glory, to give God your life, hallelujah. Will you make a change today? Say, Lord, I Hallelujah, God, I don't see how I'm going to take care of my family, but I believe you. Lord, I'm depressed. The enemy got me in a state of depression, and I'm always feeling down on myself. God, I want you to look to Jesus. The Bible says he's the author and the finisher of our faith. And because he's beginning and the ending, he is the beginning and the ending. He can see what you can't see. And then if you make that step, then he will reveal unto you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. 
is real this morning for somebody hallelujah you don't let me i want to declare it one more time you do not you don't have to see it to believe it hallelujah let me tell you something some of us uh, listen to me today uh, how did you been in the hospital and they told you we don't have an answer we don't know what's wrong we don't know what's going on they don't see no way but you know what as a child of god you laid in that bed and you said father father I stretch my hand to do that. No other help I know. I need you, God, to make the way. I don't see it, but God, I need you to make the way. And then, and then what happens, praise the Lord, then what will happen is they'll come in and say, Mr. or Mrs., uh, well, we took some more tests. Uh, we took some more exams. Uh, hallelujah. And the, 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 the results of this scan don't make sense. Uh, I don't see what I saw the last time. I don't see when I told you it was no hope, no answer. I don't see that no more. Hallelujah. So God took what man could not see. And because you believed him when you didn't see, God made a way. God opened the door. And I see clearly now. I see clearly now. Let me for somebody this morning, praise the Lord. Hey, when you're walking around, hallelujah, in your own flesh, the enemy got you doubting who God is, and you're holding back on God. You're not really surrendering to him the way that you should, hallelujah. You're wondering why your vision is so cloudy. You're wondering why you can't understand because you have not submitted. Holy people of God, if you submit to God, God will open your eyes and let you see what you need to do. God will guide you and lead you in all truth. The Lord said in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will. To let the path. Yeah, I see clearly now. I know where I'm going now. Hallelujah. And let me tell you with this. Matter of fact about it, I know who I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I rebuke the spirit this morning on, on whoever it is. That spirit in the devil pit in your mind when you don't know who you are. What you think you're mixed up about who you're supposed to be. And let me say this. You're looking at yourself in the mirror and the enemy wants you to see something that you're not. He don't want you to see what God made you to be. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever God designed you to be, you to be that, hallelujah. Little girl, be a little girl. Little boy, be a little boy. Grown man, grown woman, be a man, be a woman. God made you, hallelujah. So much so, so much so, he said you're wonderfully made. He said you're wonderfully made. Say to me, say, see, some of us, see, I want you to see yourself, how God sees you. God sees you. God knows what he made you to be. And the enemy wants you to see something of yourself that you're not seeing. So I'm telling you right now, if the enemy has planted something in your mind, not being sure who you are, God, I don't see it yet. But I believe you, God. I don't know how yet, but Lord, I believe you. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some glory. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. I rebuke that demon right now. I rebuke that demon right now, wherever he is. The enemy wants to plant seeds, hallelujah, in the mind of the people and even our children, hallelujah. If we live in a time of day, God, I think, with the devil telling people they're so confused about who they are. Well, I don't want you to call me a man. I don't want you to call me a woman. I want you to call me a they. I don't want to be identified with either or. Let me tell you something. God has made you fearfully and wonderfully. Hallelujah. And I want you, I want God. I want you to see yourself as God sees you. I want you to see yourself as God sees you. Holly, a child that he made, a creature that he made, and you were created to worship him. You were created to glorify him. You were created, holly, let me tell you something. Somebody this morning, I believe by the power of the Holy Ghost that God woke you up just to see if you're willing, hallelujah, to lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. God woke you up just to see if you're willing to say, Lord.
up. God woke you up just to see if you'll say thank you, Jesus. God woke you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, let me. Yeah, hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning, somebody. Hey, hey. I see you. I see you. Hallelujah. I see you. The devil wants you to know. Want you to think that nobody loves you. And nobody can identify who you are. But I'm this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost. I see you. I see you. I see you. And God sees you. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Hallelujah. Somebody need to be encouraged this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm tired of the enemy putting in the minds of people. Hallelujah. They don't know who they are. They undecided. They don't want to know. They don't know who God told them to be. But this morning, hallelujah. God says, I see you. And even if you don't see him yet, I want you to believe this morning. Will you believe this morning? Will you take a few minutes and believe God? Will you take a few minutes, hallelujah, and exalt the Lord? Believe God, believe God. Yeah, yeah, listen, see, see, it's, it's human nature. Oh, just a minute. It's human nature for us to always want to know all the answers. You want to know all the answers, amen, to the exam. You want all to know all the answers to the test. And we even raise our children in a time where we're, we're less concerned about what they know, amen, but as long as they put your through right holes on a test, but that doesn't really measure whether or not they retain the not or have an understanding, hallelujah, of the knowledge of God, of the knowledge of the information. And so the same logic applies to our walk of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You want to come to God's house? You want to swing your arms a little bit? You want to make a little bit of noise? But hallelujah, if you really want to know him, you got to start seeing and believing. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody this morning, believe God. We don't see it yet, but believe God. I don't see the way, but believe God. Hallelujah. So, so the same way we say, without faith, it's imp impossible to please God. We can say, but by faith, it is possible. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. We're going to pray, hallelujah. Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, God, we come before you as humble as we know how. And in your people, God, have a need to know who you are, God. Help them in the spirit, hallelujah, to see you clearly, God. Uh, give them to the exercise faith, God. Let your grace rest upon them, Lord, that they'll step out and believe you, God. In the name of Jesus, every household, God, everyone viewing, God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, need, seek their need, God. Meet their need, God. Whatever their plight is, in the mighty name of Jesus, let them know that you are still the deliverer. You are still the way maker. You still the door opener. And it's through you that we live and move and have our being. We give you all the glory and all the honor belongs to you, Jesus God. Come on, give God some glory, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Before we let you go, just want to encourage you, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With a few words of a song. Hallelujah. If you're in a place of doubt, in a place of being stagnant. Hallelujah. The enemy is trying to keep you from moving forward to what God has for your life. I want you to encourage you this morning. No matter what the trials are, no matter what comes, hallelujah, that you press on that God may get all the glory. The honor belongs to him. Hallelujah. As you sing these words, hallelujah, and meditate on it, hallelujah, 
Let God fill the room where you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Song to be says, hallelujah. I feel like going on. Hallelujah. I feel like going on. The trials come on every hand. I feel like going on. Goes on to say, I feel like pressing my way. Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes, I do. Hallelujah. I feel like pressing my way. Hallelujah. The trials they come on every hand. I feel like going on. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you praise. We thank you for tuning in with us. Hallelujah. Taking the time to come and worship with us. And we give to the Lord and give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, hallelujah. Be encouraged. Believe God. You don't have to see it. Hallelujah. But you can believe it because who God is. Amen. Hallelujah. May God continue to bless and keep you until the next time. Hey, God. Meet with God again with you. And we share your glory to give him all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I feel like going on. Yes, I feel like going on the trials they may come on every every hand I feel like 